Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can assemble and install the complete quad lock system including the vibration damper and the wireless charger onto your handlebars. And for those of you who can't wait to see the tutorial, you can find the timestamps down below so you can jump straight into the action. And for those of you who are still here, let's take the time for a proper introduction. First of all, welcome to a new video. My name is Joshua and it is so good to see you. You're already 300 and that blows my mind. Thank you so much for all the support. Having you along really makes my day. As you might have guessed, today's video is about these little things. Phones, they become more and more important also when riding bikes. I don't know about you, but I was highly reluctant to change when it came to using phones while riding bikes. Maybe that's why I made it so hard for myself. You have to know, before I moved to Berlin, I had a really good friend I was riding with and we basically rode every day and mainly just for fun and doing stupid stuff. And we never needed our phones to get anywhere because we just rode. But sometimes you have to get somewhere and that's when a phone comes in very handy for navigation. But as I've said, I was highly reluctant to change and when I needed to go somewhere, there were only two options for me to do so. So option one was to plug my headphones into my phone, run the cable underneath my shirt up to my ears and then squeeze my helmet over, hoping that they wouldn't fall out. Most of the times, obviously, they fell out it was super uncomfortable and often like while riding one fell out and i couldn't hear anything so that was option one but that was already the better one and option two was look at google maps try to remember most of what it said and then just go most of the times this ended in me just going to the next corner having to stop taking my phone out and then looking where i had to go next and it took forever and i got lost a few times so both options are highly uncomfortable, but for some reason, I just thought I want to ride for fun and not for going somewhere, you know what I mean? So last year, my brother and I decided to get the Sena S20 Evo bundle pack. So he got one, I got one, and it was my best purchase of 2020, hands down. It was such a game changer. We went to Slovenia last year and it was beautiful. was beautiful. We could talk the whole time while having Google Maps like telling us the directions and it is so good. So I'm going to put that down below in the description in case you want to check that out and you have the same problems as I have. But I oh don't know, we're in 2021, so maybe <laughs> you're already a bit further in the digital evolution. Um, but anyways, the scene is nice. But since the goal for this build is to combine the classical elements of the BMW R80 with all the modern technology that is available nowadays, I thought we could go a step further. And how do we do that, you ask? Let me explain. In combination with the M unit from Motor Gadget, the phone becomes not only the key for your bike, so that you can start it, but also the brains of your bike. So you can basically control any part of your electrical system with your phone. And since that is the case, I thought, why not integrate the phone in a functional way into the whole build? So it becomes a part of the bike. And Quadlock thought so too, and they kindly sponsored the whole range of their products. That blew me away because Quadlock and Masmoto, they are the first companies to support the channel and I was so honored to receive all of their parts because I just expected to get the mount and like the phone case. But we have everything from the mount to the vibration damper to the wireless charger to the case to the mudguard. Everything. So a huge thank you to you guys at Quadlog. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your help and feel honored that you support this build. All the links for the Quadlog components are down below in the description box. All right, let's jump straight into the tutorial. Here is how to install the complete Quadlog system.
What I would like to do is start with a basic setup just to get that out of the way in case you don't want to go for the fancy setup with a vibration damper and the wireless charger. And once we have that out of the way, I would like to go over the BMW setup with the vibration damper and the wireless charger because that is slightly different. We don't need the basic phone mount because that one is included in the wireless charger. And all you need tools wise is a three millimeter Allen key and that's included in all of the packages. So you don't really need any tools. If you want to go for the a little bit more fancy version and go for the wireless charger, what you will need to make this one work is a USB outlet that connects right to your battery. I've got the Optimate 108 kit and all the links are down below in the description box. Uh, this one hooks right to your battery and has like all sorts of functions. The good thing about this one is that it puts out 3300 mega amperes which allows fast charging for your phone otherwise my Samsung for example would take four and a half hours to completely charge. Let's jump straight into it. I'm going to show you how to assemble the basic setup and exchange these adapters and also how you can change the colored lever on here in case you want to go for something a little sleeker like black. So that's what we're going to do. Right, so this is everything you get with your basic quad lock handlebar mount. You have the handlebar mount with the different sized adapters for the different sized handlebars. You have your phone mount, the three millimeter Allen key. And if you want, you can also get different colored levers for that one. Let's start by exchanging the handlebar adapter. It says right in here how big the adapter is. So how do you do that? You could simply go in here with a three millimeter Allen key. But if you want to make it easier for yourself, then first unscrew this screw and then the screw of the bar clamp. Once that is loose, you can take it out, open the bar mount, take the old adapter out and simply put in the new one. You can super nicely adjust this in marginal step, but we can do that later. So for now, I'm just gonna tighten it like this. If you don't have a different colored lever, then what you would do next is just simply place the phone mount on the handlebar mount and tighten this screw right here. That's all there is to it. Super nice, looks very sleek. But on the BMW, I didn't like the blue, even though it's the quad lock color. I wanted to go with something less obvious and wanted to change that out for a black one. So simply go ahead, take off the phone mount. You can take out this piece next and then to switch out the lever you lift it up and in there is a little metal spring so what you do there is you slide in the allen key and simply lift it up so it comes out then you can move this one towards yourself and lift it up and there you go to install the new one you do the same you push it in push it away from you so it sits in there and then you take this metal spring and you place it in like so. Just push down with your thumbs on it. If it doesn't go in, you can also use the Allen key, push it down, and then you just push the lever down and it's all back in place. Take the piece that you took out first, put the screw back in, and there you go. That is your basic quad lock setup that you can mount your phone to. Super simple super secure. By the way, if you only had this and wanted to protect your phone from any vibration, then you would install the vibration damper in between here, like so. But we will go a step further and also install the vibration damper and the wireless charger as well as the Optimate kit. Since we have the wireless charger, we don't need this phone mount anymore because the phone mount is actually included into the wireless charger right here. So what we'll do next is simply take off this. This one goes right in to the handlebar mount and everything works with a three millimeter Allen key, which is super nice. The way this vibration damper works, it has these little air cushions in here that take out most of the vibrations of your bike. Next, we have the wireless charger, which goes right on top of the vibration damper. This is basically your setup. So here's the mechanism to mount your phone. You do so by pulling down those two, put your phone on, twist it, and it's secured in place. 
To get this one charging, back here is a USB-C port. There are two cables included at different lengths. This one is the shorter one and they have nice rubber seals right on here. So once you push this one in there, that's waterproof. And then you connect this one to your USB charger on your bike, which in our case will be the Optimate 108 kit that has everything in there that you need. Make sure that if you get one of those that you get the kit or that you order the two parts that go together individually. The Optimate 108 kit comes with two parts that you otherwise would have to order individually. The one that connects to your battery and you also have the part that basically is the brain of this whole kit. This device right here makes sure that your battery stops charging your phone one hour after you've stopped your engine. It also shows the battery status of your bike and it also comes with a fuse. All the connections are waterproof and the setup is super easy. All right, let's put everything on the bike. I would suggest we start with the quad lock system, install that one on the handlebars and then connect the Optimate kit to our battery and the quad lock system. On the BMW, I thought we are going to install it right here on the left side. And to make it easier for yourself, I would suggest you unscrew the arm that holds the whole assembly. So you're only left with a bar clamp. And then you can go ahead, open that one, take out the handlebar adapter and push that one over your handlebar in the position that you want to have your quad lock system installed. Next, go ahead, take the bar mount, place it around the adapter and tighten everything down. Maybe you have to squeeze it a little bit so that your screw reaches the thread on the other side. Once that is installed, you can grab the rest of your assembly, place it in a way that you like and simply tighten the screw here. All right, there you go. Quad lock system installed. Once you have it so far, you can go ahead and adjust it in a way that you like it. So I'm gonna move the arm over to the right side and then just simply twist the rest of the assembly to make it symmetrical again. So now that we have this, let's give it some power. Hook up the USB-C charging cable that came with your quad lock system. And I'm actually going to run the cable right underneath the handlebars so it's the least visible. And to keep it secured in place, just use the cable ties that came with the whole package. Afterwards, you can cut off the excess pieces. Probably the best way to hide your cables on most motorcycles is to run the cables underneath the tank. So if you take off your tank, you probably should be able to run the cable right on top of your main frame. When you have found a way to route your cable down here to the main frame, make sure that when you move your handlebars from left to right, that it doesn't get pinched or is too short and get stretched or anything like that. So you want it to be very flexible right here and also make sure that there are no sharp edges so it's not going to get damaged when moving. I'm just gonna use another cable tie to tighten the cable down here. All right, once you have your USB cable running from the quad lock system somewhere underneath your tank, you can go ahead and grab your Optimate kit. And that comes, as I've said, with two pieces. On one side, you have this rubber sleeve. So simply push this one over onto the cable. Don't take it off. And then you just connect the two plugs. Once they are connected, you can push the seal over, that way no water can get in there. Next, you go ahead and plug this one in just to see where you can run your cables. This one is actually super long, but we can just tie some of the excess cable together with a cable tie. So that on the finished bike would go in here with the battery. But for now, let's just assume that you find a way to route the cable because that is different from bike to bike. and attach the Optimate to our battery. To be on the safe side, I'm going to disconnect the USB ports. Since the bike isn't ready yet, I have my battery like this. All right, regarding the battery, the positive side is always red and the negative side is always black. So when you hook something up to your battery, make sure that you first hook up the positive side and then the negative side if you want to take something off of your battery, first take off the negative side and then take off the positive side. Now we can plug this one back into the quad lock cable. It should light up, nice. We have a turquoise 
and now a blue LED. All right, let's see if it also charges. Nice, it's charging. All right, perfect. That is super nice, super cool. All right, just for good measures, let's put the tank back on and see if everything still fits. And if you didn't have the wireless charger, you could basically do the same setup just without the wireless charger, you would have your normal phone charging cable and then you would have your phone on here and just plug the cable right into your phone. Well guys, I think having your phone right in the middle of the handlebars isn't the most aesthetic thing, especially for a custom bike like this. But I think that the quad lock system looks very sleek and once your phone is installed, you don't see the whole assembly anymore. So that is super sleek and super nice. I think the way I'm gonna use it is because it's so simple to put on and take back off, it literally just takes 30 seconds. I'm just gonna use it when I really need to get somewhere and then it will come in clutch and I don't have to wiggle around with my headphones anymore. So when I need to go somewhere, I just put it on and when I don't need to go somewhere and just cruise, I'm gonna take it back off, put it in my backpack so it's always ready to go. So let me know what you think about the quad lock system. Do you like it or do you even have one yourself? Because I think I'm really getting used to all of this modern stuff while riding. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this little tutorial. If you did and generally enjoy bike content, then consider subscribing because I'm currently building this BMW R80 custom bike and I'm taking you along on every step of the way. I'm gonna link you the playlist with all the BMW build videos right up here so you can binge watch them. And then I'll see you in the next one.